In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best CSGO skins that look better when they're battle scarred in 2020. Let's jump into it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tribby here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about, obviously, the best CSGO skins that look better Battle Scarred 2020 edition. We got some new skins. We have some old skins. Overall, I want to throw the best Battle Scarred skins in this video to help you guys build up a really sick inventory for pretty cheap. Anyways, guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to help us hit 100,000 subs. Also, follow me on Twitch, join our Discord server, and let's get into it. So starting off, we have a skin that I don't know if you guys knew, but basically the Op the Prince looks really 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 sick when it's in battle scarred on top of it just overall looking darker you can also get a black scope op the prince which is actually really cool it's a little bit like the black amov for the op asimov yeah in my opinion dude having a black scope op the prince makes it that much better before we get to the rest of the list, guys, I have a quick word from our sponsor. Yo, what's up, guys? Today's video was sponsored by CSGO Atsy. So if you guys are if you guys are 18 plus and you're looking for a place to bet CSGO skins, this is the place to go. So here's all the options to deposit. And then when it comes to withdrawing, you can withdraw Bitcoin, Ethereum, CSGO, or Dota 2 skins. And not going to lie, their withdraw section is low-key kind of stacked. And then also the site has a leaderboard too. So basically, the more you bet, the more you get. Also, the site has sports betting. Uh, they have Mega Wheel, which is Roulette. They have Crash, Blackjack, Minesweeper, TB dice jackpot and of course wheel of destiny obviously though you do have to be 18 plus and also on the site bet responsibly don't bet more than you can afford to lose so guys go to csgoatsy.com and use code turbomotion z or you can go to the discord and get the link there they also hook us up with some giveaway skins for active members in the discord server so join it's level 15 plus and let's get into it Next up, we have the Op Safari Mesh Battle Scarred. So obviously, if you get this in a really, really high float where it's like 0.90 plus, it's going to look really Battle Scarred. And honestly, it actually kind of looks a little bit like a, a cheap Op Graphite. Even like a regular Battle Scarred one still looks pretty decent because it's essentially just an Op Safari Mesh with a lot of stuff missing, but it looks really cool because it's silver underneath. Next up, we have the Op Asimov, aka the Op Blackamov. So essentially, the only way to get a Blackamov is to have an Asimov with a float that is above 0.95 which is relatively rare so that increases the overall price and getting a really good black amov can cost hundreds of dollars versus just dozens for a regular asimov so i mean they're a little expensive but in my opinion i think they look better Next up, guys, we have the SSG Abyss. And in my opinion, I think this skin looks so much better in Battle Scarred because basically normally it looks really blue, but when it gets Battle Scarred, it looks more like greenish, whitish. And I don't know, it just has more different, more unique colors. And I just think it pops a little bit better, honestly. But I guess if you do have a blue themed inventory, I do see how the factory new one is better. But hey, I prefer it in Battle Scarred. Next up, we have the AK-47 Wasteland Rebel, and one of the cool things about this skin is, even in Battle Scarred, it actually looks relatively the same, but as you can see behind like the art, or behind like the words, basically it's normally brown, but if you can get it in Battle Scarred, and if it's really highly ba Battle Scarred, it actually looks more like blackish, so in my opinion, it just pops better. Next up, we have the Mag 7 Firestarter, and normally in Factory New, this skin looks basically white with a little bit of red on it, and there's really not too much to it. However, when you move over to the Battle Scarred version, it looks really, really, really rusty, and it actually looks really, really cool in my opinion, because it's basically, it's the same skin, but all the white metal has basically rusted off, and it has a really cool, unique look to it. Next up, we have the Offworld, and this is incredibly well known that this skin basically looks amazing battle scarred. So normally, this is what it looks like. You know, it has some cool little like Easter eggs and stuff, but when you get it in battle scarred, just some more scratches, and of course, also a skull pops up where the number five was previously. I really like skins that look different be just because they're battle scarred. Next up, we have the M4A1S Basilisk, and in my opinion, when this skin is factory new, it looks all silver and like bright and everything. But in my opinion, it doesn't really look that amazing. In my opinion, when you get it in battle scarred, it more, looks more like the default m 4 one s but with a dragon engraved in the side. And I think that just makes it so much cooler. Like this version of the skin is just way more appealing to me personally. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Now we have the Op Medusa. So the one you're looking at currently is actually field tested, but the Battle Scarred one, in my opinion, actually looks a little bit better because number one, it's darker, and number two, it also has a little bit of green as well. And if you can get a float that is above 0.90, then it's considered a green witch, which means basically the witch is as green as it possibly can be, and the skin is just, you know, it's dark and green, as opposed to light and blue. 
And honestly, it all just comes down to personal preference. Next up, we have the Op Mortis. So normally the skin looks, you know, it looks okay, obviously. But, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little too yellow for me, personally. When you compare it to the Battle Scarred one, it is definitely more orange tinted. Which, in my opinion, I feel like that makes it look a little bit better. I don't know. Like, the normal skin is just a little bit too bright, so the Battle Scarred one is like the perfect balance for me, personally. Next up is the AK-47 Red Line, and this is a dope skin, in my opinion. So normally, it has a couple, like, it has accents of red and it has carbon fiber. But when you get it in Battle Scarred, a lot of the red actually goes away, and it looks more like a slightly different version of the default AK, basically where it's, there's a little bit of red, of course, but it's also like black and gray, and it just overall looks clean and it looks amazing. Same with the Elite build, the normal one, you know, it looks pretty cool and all, and it's a cheap skin, but in my opinion, when you go to Battle Scarred, it looks like a modified version of the default AK to where it has like more, like kind of black accents to it. And in my opinion, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but at the end of the day, the reason why you go for Battle Scarred skins is because they look more unique and they look different. Speaking of different, next up we have the Tech 9 Hades. And this is a skin that I actually don't see too often. And it's, it's a little pricey. It's like $4 on the market. But basically the normal factory new one has a bunch of uh, kind of like Roman helmets. But when you switch over to the Battle Scarred version, a lot of the helmets actually turn into skulls and overall the color changes. And I feel like it just, it overall looks way cooler. Now it's not as clean, but I think I'd rather use this than the factory new one personally. Now we have the P2000 Imperial Dragon. So normally when you get this in field tested or factory new, it's more orange. But when you get one that's battle scarred, and of course the more battle scarred it is, the more purple it looks. So it's basically the purple version of the P2000 Imperial Dragon, which is amazing because it doesn't look all scratched up. It doesn't look horrible. It just looks, it's just a different color. And honestly, I could go on and on. There's so many other skins. Like I could even mention the gun gear. I can mention the dragon lore, which I, I don't think the dragon lore looks better battle scarred personally, but the gun gear, you could actually make an argument for that. And then any of the other skins that don't really get scratched up, you can also make an argument for any of those. Plus there's like the rust coats. There's the blue steels, which I mentioned in the last video that I uploaded uh, on this topic, like over a year ago and overall i just wanted to make a new up-to-date video on like you know the best csgo skins that look better battle scarred and if there's more than i missed let me know in the comments down below because there's just there's nine over 900 skins in csgo there's a lot <laughs> but I don't know. I hope I did this video justice and I hope you guys did end up enjoying it. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite skin that is better than Battle Scarred. And uh, I'll be sure to give you guys some hearts because obviously uh, if you guys do leave comments and likes, that does help the channel directly. It helps the videos get sent to more people in the algorithm. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe with the bell icon rung. Help us hit 100,000 subs because uh, I got something really cool planned. But overall, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to join the Discord server if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. All the links are in the description down below. If you watched the video all the way until the end, extra bonus points to you. Appreciate the support. But overall, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.